Hello, I'm continuing our look at data analysis by talking about five different tools, which I'm effectively just going to list because each one is fairly self-explanatory. But when you hear the phrase data analysis tools, please do think of one of these five. The first one are data tables. A table, you know what a table is. It's where you show data in rows and columns. And the two main bits of software we would mostly make tables in are spreadsheets or databases. You can make tables in word processes too, of course, emails too, but spreadsheets, databases are often built up of one or more tables. So here is a very, very simple table in a spreadsheet software. And even you having it in a designated table does often allow you other features, which let you do basic analysis on this. So for example, here I've sorted the age column so that it's in ascending order. You can equally sort it based on alphabetical or descending or, or things like that. You can also usually filter, meaning you can maybe deselect certain names, deselect certain ages based on a certain rule and slightly more complicated bits of analysis. Now you could argue a table is itself a visualization of data, but there are slightly more clear examples. Things like charts and graphs are examples of you visualizing data. So if you've got a tool, which enables you to visualize data, this is showing it in a slightly more easy to understand way, which is visual, right? Just some data listed in a long document is not visual, whereas putting it as, say, a line graph or, say, a pie chart immediately makes it a little bit more clear and often makes the whole data set a bit easier to understand. You've got a much clearer idea about what is going on in the data when you see it plotted in a more visual method. And again, usually spreadsheets are where these tools are most available. You could make these in databases, but spreadsheets are much more for processing data, which you could argue this is. Other tools include, well, a very, gen a very general one is trend and pattern identification, which loads of tools could do. A trend or a pattern is just where something is happening over time and something obvious is happening inside your data. So for example, you know, you notice a certain product is selling particularly well. You notice a certain employee is maybe not performing as well as they should be. So you can spot this by looking at your data. And often our visual tools can help you with this. So what you might do, if you can kind of spot a pattern, you might use this pattern to maybe make a prediction in the future. So you can see this line graph has been extended into the future based on the current trend. And tools will do this for you and will enable you to kind of uh, make these predictions, but also they'll enable you to look back at your data and see what exactly is happening. So there are not you know, specific tools we could, uh, we could cover this whole category, but even in things like spreadsheet software, you've got tools which enable you to make predictions. Likewise, data cleaning hasn't got necessarily a specific tool in mind, but the general act of data cleaning is where you are removing outdated or just generally inaccurate data. So if you've got errors in your data set, you would hope they would get removed because they would cause issues when you try and do things like plot them on a graph. And so data cleaning software or a tool within software will just help you get rid of anything which shouldn't really be there. In terms of outdated data in particular, under data protection laws, you need to make sure that any personal data is kept in date and is kept accurate. And so you cleaning it actually is part of adhering to the Data Protection Act. And the last tool to mention is location mapping, where you are over a geographical area showing movement of objects, usually sort of on top of a map. So here's a picture of a flight tracking website called Flight Radar 24. Here's just a snapshot of some of the planes at Heathrow Airport. This website would show the planes moving as time progresses. It's just a particular way to see how things move over time. What this website could have done is just provided a long list of all the locations of the planes, but that's obviously not a very easy way to understand what's going on. So they put it on a map, made the planes nice and yellow and nice and big, so you can see them move around in real time. So a lot of these tools are there just to make things a bit easier for you because dealing with lots of raw data is quite tricky. Whereas if you do some processing to it, as most of these tools do, it often makes it a little bit easier and it becomes more useful information to you.